Today we embark on another round of struggle on the recent terrorization, displacement, abduction, and creating chaos or confusion in government science secondary school Kankara on Friday night. Statement on unfortunate incident of government science secondary school Kankara, Katana State background. For the past few years, our state has struggled with disabling challenges that include dwindling economy, rising poverty, and more worrying a critical security situation that has taken a huge toll on lives and properties. The situation manifested initially in the form of cattle rustling in few local governments in the southern part of the state, and within a short time, separate to other parts of the state. This trend suddenly metamorphosed into a deadly armed banditry and kidnapping for ransom, which is recycled for arms and drugs, for reasons that are largely dubious. The culmination of these security challenges has for the first few years turned the entire state into a house of horror, with violent killings reportedly on daily basis. Communities displaced with formal and informal IDP camps spreading all over the state. The situation has today reached an unacceptable level with the attack launched by deadly armed bandit at Gamban San Secondary School, Kankara. Information written as why writing this community, many students are still missing. Dark as the clouds may appear, depressing as the news may be, hopeless as the situation may seem, silence is a luxury we cannot afford. The defining silence in the state to our people suffering is not only morally wrong, but it nourishes, validates, and perpetuate the feeling of our political leaders. Observations 1. CNG notes that there is a relative improvement in the security situation in the state. However, the activities of bandits, kidnappers, and cattle rustlers are still constituting a threat to sustainable development. While CNG commends the effort of the security agencies in the state, we equally appeal to the state government to strengthen activities of vigilantes and action to complement their efforts. CNG believes that no meaningful development will be possible without security, and if things do not change to halt the slide into this dark adversity very soon, the state may plunge into anarchy. The attack of Gamban Science Secondary School Kankara by armed bandit exposes not only the weakness of the government, but also lack of its concern to educational sector, describing the action as inhuman, insensitive, ungodly, barbaric, and regrettable situation and call for an immediate action. Our stand. 1. While condemning in totality this barbaric act and call for the immediate arrest and prosecution of the culprits, we equally stress the inability of the government to protect those young, innocent, vibrant students from this horrible attack as uncalled for. 2. Failure of the government to rescue the missing student within a shortest period of time, CNG will not hesitate to mobilize hundreds of thousands on the street of Katana State for a continuous protest until the students are fully rescued. This will happen even if it is going to cost our lives. Three, we demand an immediate closure of all boarding secondary schools in the state with an immediate deployment of security personnel well equipped at all day secondary schools within the state. Four, additional security personnel, armor, personnel carriers, fighter jets should be mobilized to Katana State with immediate effect by the federal authorities. 5. While we commend the effort of Katana State Government for its immediate response, we equally condemned in strongest terms the inability of the President to visit the scene despite being him in the state. 6. While rumors go around that over 400 students are missing, we call on the State Government to immediately clarify the matter so as to ascertain the exact number of missing students. We are not wrong by saying that President Buhari-led administration has failed in discharging its primary responsibility of protecting lives and properties of people. Eight, while we commend the effort of good Samaritans in the local government, we equally call for collaborative effort between the security agencies and local intelligence with all sincerity of purpose so as to defeat the menace. In conclusion, Your Excellency Sir, we regret to conclude that the state is not wrong when it insists that its expectations and aspirations are not to be served by the quality and competence of many of the people it elected to work and see the state through this difficult period. When we say we bear the brunt of VAD or poor governance more than other Nigerians, we speak from a solid experience because when the economy and security deteriorate, 
we peel the pen more sharply than the others. With security, we can pit ourselves and pit the rest of Nigeria. But when cost of input become prohibitive, threat to lives limit productive capacity, hearts are stolen or limited by hostile and damaging political interests, the economy of the state suffers. Long live coalition of northern groups, long live Kazana state, and long live Federal Republic of Nigeria.